Hello! This video will demonstrate bootstrapping the Apple II computer using a serial port and getting the ADD Pro communications program working in the process. This would be important if, say, you had just bought an Apple II and it didn't come with any software, or maybe all of your old disks have gotten moldy and can't be read anymore. Either way, this procedure, along with the open source ADD Pro software, can bring your old machine back to life. For this exercise, we'll be using a Laser 128 Apple II compatible. It works just the same way, though, for any other Apple II, be it an original Apple II with a Super Serial card, an Apple IIe with a Super Serial card, an Apple IIc or Apple IIc Plus, or an Apple II GS, or a Franklin, or a Tomic Sinclair 1000. Well, okay, maybe not one of those, but any other Apple II with a serial connection will do. So here we are back at our Laser 128. We'll spin it around and get it connected. We'll need a DIN 5 null modem and a USB serial adapter. Cables are available from Retrofloppy.com if you don't want to wire one up yourself. Plug the DIN 5 end of the null modem into the modem receptacle of the Laser 128 and connect the DE9 end with the USB serial adapter. The other end of the USB cable goes into our host computer, whether that's a Mac, a PC, or a Linux box. Now we're ready to start everything up. When you turn on the Apple II or compatible, Hit Control Reset right away to get to the command prompt. Now let's prepare the apple. Type the command IN number sign 2 and Control A 1 4 B. We do that on the keyboard by holding down the Control key, hitting A, letting both go, then 1 4 B. If you have an Apple Super Serial card, it will respond with the Apple SSC prompt when you hit Control A. After typing 14B, hit return. The 2GS and 2C will respond to the Control A key sequence with a blinking question mark, and it won't echo any characters. Now we're ready to prepare the host side. Click on the Serial button on the ADD Pro server. If this is the first time you're running ADD Pro, you'll be asked to pick the serial port to use. Select the one that is connected to the Apple II and click OK. Now, click on Bootstrapping, ProDOS, and Speedy Boot. A dialog box comes up with instructions to enter some commands we've already done, the IN number 2 and Control a 14 b dance. Now we're ready to hit OK. The bootstrap process will start by filling your screen with lines and lines of code. This only lasts for a few seconds before the next step kicks in, loading the kernel of ProDOS, called the MLI, and the ADD Pro program itself. When the bootstrap process is done, it will start the ADD Pro client program. The little flickering character represents the data that is flowing to the Apple II. We'll speed this operation up some so you don't have to wait the entire two minutes to see it all happen. Once it's done, the ADD program will start automatically. Now we'll want to put a blank floppy disk in the drive and format it so we can transfer our first disk. To format, hit the F key. ADD Pro will prompt us for the drive to format, the slot 6 drive 1 typical disk drive. Hit enter to select it and answer Y to the ready to format prompt and it'll start formatting. When it's done formatting, answer N to the format another prompt unless you want to format another one. Now with a formatted disk in the drive, we want to receive the full bootable disk image of the ADD Pro client software. To do that, we hit the R key to receive, then type the name of the ADD Pro distribution image. Hit enter to receive it, and pick slot 6, drive 1, to write it to. You'll see the buffer fill up and write out a total of 5 times. We'll speed that up as well. Once that's done, you'll have a bootable ProDOS disk that will boot and run the ADD Pro client software without ever having to go through this bootstrap procedure again. To recap, the first step is to connect serial ports with a null modem. Then, tell the ADD Pro server to start the bootstrapping procedure for ADD Pro called Speedy Boot. Once the ADD Pro client is running on the Apple II, format a floppy disk. Then, receive the full ADD Pro disk image. Reboot with Control Open Apple Reset, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching and visit addpro.sourceforge.net for lots more details.